in this <coughs> in this video we're gonna learn uh, Ramsey numbers so suppose that uh, there are six people so among six people uh, then but the fact is there are either three three people who know each other or three people who do not know each other so this is the basic a form of Ramsey theory so let's prove this fact uh, as follows so we have six people so let let's name them just using numbers one two three four five six be the six people I'm gonna just name them using numbers and <clears throat> we can represent this situation by drawing some uh, edgy, uh, solid edges or dashed edges so uh, we can represent uh, acquaintance using a solid edge this means I and J know each other And otherwise, you're gonna draw a dashed edge between I and J. This means I and J do not know each other. So, uh, let's focus on uh, the person number one. So, there are th five other people named three, two, three, four, five, six and if one and two know each other this will be connected by a solid edge if one and three do not know each other this will be connected by a dotted edge etc so we don't know exactly uh, the situation in general but what we can we can sure about is that because uh, there are four pass uh, five pass five uh, other five people where we can either connect from A by a solid edge or not dot, dotted edge. So let me just draw the one particular situation. This can be one of the poss possibilities. In this case, we know that uh, <clears throat> A knows three people. Two, three, uh, two, four, and six. Uh, always, uh, because there are five people here, Uh, by pigeonhole principle mm, principle uh, either one knows three people or one does not know three people so in this example one does know three people but some other cases uh, one may not know three people but in that case we will have three, uh, one will know uh, one to not know three people so <clears throat> Now we have two. We have to consider two cases. So let me let's consider that in the next page. So case one. Suppose that A knows three people. And let's say they are A, B, and C. Okay. Now, if two of A, B, C know each other. 
for instance uh, for instance if like uh, a and B know each other then we would have this situation where one a B these three people who know each other then one a B know each other three people know each other so in this case we are done so other case otherwise what happens is a B and C they do not know each other because if any two of them know each other we will have uh, this situation but now because the, in this case A B C do not know each other so in this case uh, this also satisfies the condition so now case 2 <clears throat> case 2 uh, A does not know three people like A, B, C now we can do the same thing if two, any two of A, B, C do not know each other to say like A and B then we will have this situation where A, B, C, 1, A, B do not know each other and otherwise we have what? 3 of them A, B, C, 3 of them know each other so in any case we have either three people who know each other or three people who do not know each other so this is the end of the proof so we all if there are six people there are always three people who know each other or three people who do not know each other so let me exp express exp uh, <coughs> express this using some notation notation so here k sub n this is the usual notation for the graph with n uh, n vertices such that every pair of vertices are connected connected by an edge so a graph basically is an object consisting of vertices and edges uh, it's best to understand this using examples so k1 is just a graph with one dot, one dot no edge and k2 we have two vertices and then two of they are connected k3 three vertices and they are all connected to each other K4, 1, 2, 3, 4 vertices, they are all connected to each other. So 4 vertices, then one more K5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 vertices, and every pair of 2 vertices are connected by an edge, like this, etc. So in this case, you can kn is called a complete graph and um, definition uh, this notation kn arrow kr comma kb this means uh, the following if we color the edges of Kn with uh, red or blue then uh, there is 
either a set of R vertices such that uh, the edges among them are colored uh, red or a set of B vertices such that the edges among them are colored blue or colored blue so this is exactly the situation that we had before so <clears throat> theorem that we showed at the beginning of this lecture can be rephrased as follows k6 arrows k3 comma k3 so because uh, k6 is like this so it's six vertices and six choose two edges And if you color the vertices, uh, the edges in any, so let me try to color them. Like I'm trying to avoid, uh, uh, trying to avoid this and this. Let me try to avoid. Uh, tri red triangle and uh, blue triangle, but in the fact is I will always en end up getting a red triangle or blue triangle if I color them all, all, all the edges in two colors Okay uh, all right. Now I'm gonna color with the remaining vertices with uh, re remaining edges with blue no matter how you color the edges you will always have a red triangle or blue triangle here we already have a blue triangle so here you can see we have a blue triangle like this so I haven't colored this yet we have this blue triangle it doesn't matter how many blue or red triangles we have but the, the theorem what the theorem says is that we will have at least one red triangle or one blue triangle. We don't have to have both, at least one. This we, we showed this before. So uh, you can think of red color means that these two people know each other. I J. If you consider I don't know know each other. and blue color the other way around i j the knot do not know each other all right and example k5 does not arrow K3 comma K3 so this is not true because if you can find just one example of a coloring which does not have uh, K3 um, red K3 or blue K3 then we are done so let me color the edges um, okay let me use white so if we color the edges red like this and blue like this and you see 
in this case no we have no red k3 or blue k3 red k3 means uh, these three uh, vert three vertices where the edges connecting them are all red and three uh, vertices for which the edges connecting them are all blue so we don't have neither this or this so this is not true <clears throat> it is not clear obvi or obvious at all that such a number always exists so and Ramji showed that it's actually the tr it's actually the case if m n are integers greater than or equal to 2 then there exists an integer p such that kp arrows to kn comma km I'm, I'm not going to prove prove this in this video this is shown by uh, Ramsey so notice that if kp arrows to kn comma km and if uh, p is a bigger integer then kq also arrows to kn comma km because here we this set uh, because here this graph is bigger than this graph because q is bigger so if you just restrict yourself to just a part of this and color the edges there by this already uh, there is a red kn or blue km so this is also true so the definition here so we want to have so a, such a number p in this theorem but we want to minimize it we want to find the minimum smallest integer there so arc of n comma m is defined to be the smallest integer p such that kp arrows to kn comma km so the theorem is r of 3 comma 3 is equal to 6 and actually an equivalent definition here can be uh, smallest integer p this means equivalently Uh, kp kn comma km but kp minus 1 does not arrow to kn comma km so it's the minimum p, p is the minimum such integer so in order to show a, a theorem like this we need to prove two things one thing is that k6 arrows to k3, k3, which we already checked, and k5 does not arrows to k3, k3. We checked this before, two of these before uh, already, so that, that's the proof of this. Although the definition of the Ramsey number, and by the way, this is called the Ramsey number. Although the definition of the Ramsey number is quite simple, very little is known about this number. Let me tell you uh, what I've known so far. So the theorem is that um, it is symmetric in the sense that r of n comma m is equal to r of n m comma n. And R of n comma two, which is of course equal to R of two comma n, is equal to n. These two are easy to check. <clears throat> and let me draw the 
table of its Ramsey numbers and m greater than or equal to 3 because when one of them is 2 it's easy surprising me only a little is known m n so it's 3 4 5 and 6 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so we check that this is 6 and 3 comma 4 this is known to be equal to 4 uh, 9 14 18 23 28 36 and uh, this is not known but we only know that it should be between 40 and 43 inclusive and I'm not gonna fill uh, this so I'm, I'm gonna leave this empty because this is really equal to this we know that this is equal to 9 so I'm skip it this is 18 25 and this is known to be between 36 uh, 35 30 uh, 41 and this uh, 43 49 48 87 this this one 102 165 so these are the known facts about the Ramsey number so far so as you can see not many numbers are discovered it's very very uh, hard when n and n both N and M are big. Okay. So it is possible uh, to color uh, with more than two. More than two colors. So we considered only col col coloring the edges of KN with red, uh, colors red or blue, it's possible to color more than two colors. So the definition, KP arrows KN1, comma, KN2, comma, da, da, da. KNK, this means the following, if we color edges of K P using K colors say C1 dot 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 C K then there exists uh, either one of the following a set of N1 vertices such that the edges among them have color C1 or set of N2 vertices such that the edges among them have color C2 or dot 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 set of NK vertices such that the edges among them have color CK and the theorem is also due to Ramsey for any n1 dot 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 nk at least 2 there exists an integer p such that we have this situation And the only non-trivial, uh, oh, and by the way, it's the next page. And similarly, R of N1 dot 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 NK is the smallest integer P such that KP arrows KN1 dot dot dot. K and K. 
and the only non-trivial this is if there are more than two colors it is even more difficult so the only non-trivial uh, Ramsey number with multiple colors for K LS3 is this 3,3,3 and this is known to be equal to 17 but other, other than this nothing is really known okay this is the end of the video thank you